and now Aquafills in bright about the center project and terminus energy and how it's everywhere but difficult to control which we'll get into on the other route for the, the full nonsense and now she, that's why she has to wear the thing to yeah, terminus energy yeah, to, yeah ter metal zap had discovered it blah, blah 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 we'll do with that on the other route and then the yeah, terminus energy is everywhere but you got to do the things by any special door difficult to control that's right it's t engine needs terminal energy engine yeah but, um, and then the service is equipped with some bullshit. And then Beecher asks Aqua about her swimsuit. It's and then L and Rue are like, oh jeez, this guy. This uh, this guy, that outfit always ruined the male gaze. And Beecher's like, I can't not look! And then Aqua says, it, it's necessary to control <laughs> control Cold uh, It's uh, yeah, computer. No, it's uh, necessary to control the T engine's output. And then Aqua, and then Beecher, hmm, I see. Either way, it's very nice. And then Bright, sure is. Uh, uh huh? C Captain? Uh, 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 nothing. So, what about the Medius Locus? Poor Bright. Time to be a burger to distract himself. But then Aqua gives the rundown of the Medius Locus and Center Project and the Lasmonanium. And uh, now it's regenerating and things get. Uh, Lesma. Lesma. Nenny. Huh? Lesma Nanium. And now it's regenerating and things could be get very uh, devil gundamy if uh, people messed with it wrong. And then. Yeah, it's just like the devil gundam. And then Beecher and everybody are like, whoa, we saw the devil gundam consumer like, absorb a colony a year ago. and. That sucks. And then Bright was like, yeah, I fucking saw it, and it was awful. And uh, the Devil Gundam incident happened right after the Grips conflict, before he met the Double Zeta crew. But all in all, Aqua and Hugo need to run after the Medius Locus real quick. And that's when Bright gives him the order he just got from headquarters, saying that they are now part of the Nehalagama crew, and they had to keep pursuing the Medius while aboard. Bright just hit on someone? <laughs> you don't want... I mean, I'm not sure if you... I'm not sure why he thought any different of the bright stuff. And then Hugo and Aqua are confused about the change of orders, but they won't object. And then Bright inwardly notes that it's understandable they've got doubts regarding this, because he does too. But regardless, the ship will continue its current course, an assignment and rendezvous with the group transporting the D weapons. Hugo's wearing some weird shit, why does nobody mention it? Because he's not a lady. And then, yeah, now they're having a chat. And then, next is we've got to join the Nehalagama, chase the Medius. There's no guarantee that the yeah, then like it's the best way to get the Medius. And he goes like, why does the scent? Yeah, um, I don't suppose we'd be wrong to assume. Yeah, uh, yeah. Why we do? It's all stuff to do with the behind the scenes and the politics because the conversation is different to the super group. Sorry, so but we'll cover this properly when we do the other one. But yeah, say nothing about so easily the Medius was stolen. I don't suppose it would be wrong to assume that if someone with the center project is behind all this, I think Professor uh, Metal, maybe, but. I don't know why only the Medius was stolen. If his plan was to sell it to another organization, he would have taken the Cerberus too. True, anyone who wants to reap the fruits of the center project would need both the T engine and Lasmonanium. And then internally, or does the Medius actually have functions we don't know about? And then, the moves of the Medius did today, I remember them well. But it can't be. He couldn't be back. But yeah, we'll see that one done differently. Properly.